Ay, 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 ay. Whipping up that beat, good food. Whipping up that, whipping up that. Ay, 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 ay. Beat, good food. Just put the rice on. One of these days. We've got the rice here. Uh, just gonna chop up some onion. Da, 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 da. Sometimes I chop them up better than that. Or should I say more finely? Avocado oil. Boom. Chop up a couple of tomatoes. <laughs> Tomatoes. Then and we're gonna throw them in with the onions in about two minutes. About two minutes. Put them in together. Roll the kettle over here. Vegetable cube. We're about 208 milliliters of water, boiling water. Usually I put in about uh, a block that thick of coconut um, coconut cream but I don't have any today doesn't matter we're still going to eat it's fine if you don't have an ingredient just carry on people supplement find something different we're going to eat we got to eat people it's important don't either the onions just wait till they go a bit golden -y, yellow throw in the tomatoes and then Rinse the chickpeas. Uh, get the smoked paprika. Ground cumin. Wow. Oh yeah, right here. Curry powder. Boom. That's what we're working with, people. I uh, might put some chili flakes in with the uh, rice when that's done. Tomatoes. Ah. Guys, get yourself a wooden spoon, it's important, right? This one was from Gusto. Uh, I don't know if you can see it etched in there. Oh, never mind, never mind. It does a job. That's the main thing. Abracadabra. That's how it works. No skill involved, just magic, you need a magic spoon. So, you know, we just keep stirring it. Then in the middle we're gonna add all these bad boys. Rinse the chickpeas, people. I don't know if any of you do be putting that juice in, but not me. Definitely not me. Really not sure if you can or not. I always just rinse it, I just like, I just feel more comfortable. I give it the proper rinse, baby. The proper rinse. Let's get this kicking ready to go. 200 and... Uh, we'll do 250 milliliters because we don't have the coconut cream. So... I feel like the coconut cream does a lot. But, okay, back over here. Any order you like. You want like about a tablespoon of... No. About two tablespoons of uh, the ground cumin, I think. Obviously, I don't measure it out. It's kind of not how I roll. Then we've got smoked paprika. Paprika, put in about a couple, about a teaspoon of that. And then the curry powder. I can't remember if it's two tablespoons or two teaspoons, but I, I usually put in a bit more than two teaspoons. So. be real I just kind of even it out uh, a little bit more curry powder probably and then just start mixing that in put the uh, chickpeas in so we're gonna leave that for about a minute and a minute and a half maybe a minute to be honest and then we're gonna add this 
Make sure this is all good. Start putting your stuff back. Ain't gonna need that no more. Lovely jubbly. Yep. Just gonna let that. We're gonna turn the heat down now. We don't want that to boil. Simmer that for about 20 minutes. Looking for, I don't know the exact time. You just want you just want all the liquid to basically be gone and it to feel like a soupish a soup. Um, obviously when you have the coconut cream it's a lot thicker that happens. So this one's gonna be a lot more watery. It's absolutely fine. The rice will be done shortly. Add some salt, add some chili flakes. That's gonna be good to go. See this is really easy, it's really simple. Before I was vegan I didn't really do much cooking and stuff. I mean but it all starts by just learning a few recipes and then you start your brain starts connecting dots about different dishes you can do and before you know it you're making your own dishes uh, you're learning from other people it's a good place to be you know? anyways I'm just gonna tidy up for a bit uh, like I said we simmer that for about 20 minutes dish up the rice and I'm gonna cook some mushrooms as well because I have some mushrooms in the fridge that I need to use Dude, oh, and Paul is a vegan dude. Whipping up the vegan food on a Thursday afternoon. Hey, hey, whipping up that vegan food on a Thursday afternoon. Cool. No, how we do. <laughs> Food, put you in the good mood. Hey, hey. It's all over me. It's my show now, fam. Can never go wrong with mushrooms. I told you I was bringing the mushrooms, that's what I do. You're not alone. I am here with you. Du -du 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 Woo, that's enough. That was too many. Um Yeah, perfect. Have you got any idea what this Get your greens people, you need to get your greens, Just I like to add a bit of broccoli to my meal because I'm a broccoli guy, just eat it raw, make sure you wash them good, time to dish up, yeah like I say, you can add whatever you like, sometimes I have coriander that I sprinkle on top, um, Add the mushrooms. You have yourself a nice little meal, mate. Yes, mate. Got a bit of greens there. Brown rice. Chickpeas. Onions. Mushrooms. You know, it's all good. It's all good. One of my favorite dishes. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This part of the video, I forgot to turn my mic on. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching likes and subscribes are always appreciated but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video god bless one love Ooh, and Paul is a vegan dude whipping up the vegan food on a thursday afternoon dude. Ooh, and Paul is a vegan dude Whipping up the vegan food on a Thursday afternoon. Hey, 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 hey. Whipping up that vegan food. Hey, 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 hey. Whipping up that vegan food on a Thursday afternoon. Cool. Know how we do. <laughs>